Hey guys, welcome back to another impressions video, and today I'm going to talk about this game right here, Saint Seiya Sanctuary Battle for the PlayStation 3, a title that I just beat. And as you guys can probably see here, this is the European version of the game. Uh, reason being, this game got released, I believe, in every region except North America. And that is a good indication of, as to the popularity of this Saint Seiya franchise, which, uh, for those of you that are not familiar, this is based on an anime and manga that was very popular in Japan during the 80s and then it got very popular in other parts of the world um, in the 90s. And if you guys grew up in Europe or parts of Latin America, you know exactly what I'm talking about here because Saint Seiya, um, and I'm trying to be unbiased here, but in my opinion it rivaled um, anime such as Dragon Ball in, in terms of popularity and uh, it's no surprise the, the anime is really good if you guys have not seen or, or heard I highly recommend that you check this out especially if you guys are into anime because it's a very entertaining show that uh, it basically deals the main theme uh, it's around Greek mythology and it's kind of like Dragon Ball you know fight, uh, it's basically fighting uh, you know people fighting each other but uh, Saint Seiya uh, it's a very fun uh, uh, anime to watch because it, it deals with Greek mythology and a lot of ancient culture and history but uh, let's talk a little bit about the game and before I do that I guess I'll give a brief background of the Saint Seiya franchise maybe I can sell you guys on the on the anime and uh, uh, truth to be told I have to be up front, up front this game you guys will enjoy it only if you have watched the anime previously. Um, I find it I find it very hard for somebody that has not watched the show to enjoy this game, um, mainly because the ga gameplay is very repetitive and very and very dull, if you want to call it that. Um, and for me, a big part of the enjoyment playing this game, which I have to say, my overall assessment is that this is a it's a pretty fun game. It's a very good game, uh, but. Uh, a huge part of that enjoyment was based in the fact that I already watched the show and as a kid I was a very uh, a very big fan of, 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 the, of the show so obviously this game is based on the on, on the anime and uh, you, you guys will feel right at home if you if you have watched uh, you know previously the, the, the show if you haven't watched it uh, I don't I don't really think I can recommend the game because like I said it's very repetitive and uh, there's a lot of characters being introduced left and right that it may confuse you but if you guys have not checked the anime, please do so if you're interested because, like I said, this is a very fun one. And uh, essentially the story deals with the uh, saints, which are you know characters like this. This is Seiya, uh, which is the main protagonist, and uh, they are tasked to... Uh, they, go, they go over a very rigorous training in order to wield, or wield this armor, or in, as in the game they're known as cloths. So for, for instance, Seiya here, he has the the Pegasus cloth, which is based on the Pegasus uh, constellation. And uh, there are other bronze saints, as you can see here. This is Dragon Shiryu, that's Hyoga. Uh, then you have Andromeda e um, and Phoenix. So those are the bronze saints, which are the weaker ones. But uh, throughout the game, you play as the five you know, protagonists that you see here in the background. And uh, you have to face, uh, or you have to fight against the gold saints, which are the most powerful uh, saints in the in the Saint Seiya universe. Reason being, you're trying to uh, save uh, the reincarnation of uh, uh, the goddess Athena, and uh, the only way you can save her is by going through the twelve uh, houses of the gold saints. Uh, get through them and then get to the Grand Pope, which is you know the leader of the sanctuary, and he's the only one that can remove this golden arrow that pierced through uh, Athena's uh, or Saori's heart. So. Problem is the Grand Pope kind of like brainwashed all the 12 gold saints and they think you and the other four um, bronze saints are traitors. So you have to fight your way through all the 12 houses in order to get to the Grand Pope and uh, you know find a way to remove that golden arrow that pierced through uh, uh, Saori's heart. Uh, now the problem is that like I said, the, the gold the gold saints are the strongest ones and sure enough, the, this game I guess we can talk about the, the gameplay now. It's divided into two gameplay portions. Uh, the first one being a Muso type of beat em up in which you, in your way to each uh, temple or house, you have to fight tons of enemies. So think of it as a beat em up type of Muso um, game where you, know, you can just mindlessly uh, smash the square button 
and uh, you can defeat enemies, but at the same time you can pull off combos by doing different button combinations and things like that. So that's the first part of the gameplay, and once you beat those levels, you finally get to the house of the or, or the houses of the gold saints, and then you have to face them and or think of think of them as boss battles. But these are very lengthy boss battles, uh, which are kind of kind of in line with the game and with the purpose that you know showing that the gold saints are really the strongest ones out there. Um, so the, the 12 gold saints are represented by the 12 different uh, signs of the zodiac. For example, you fight against Gemini, you fight against Taurus, you fight against you know Libra, um, you know Sagittarius, and all the constellations basically, uh, which is pretty cool. And again, it ties with that Greek mythology theme, astrology, ancient culture, history, whatever you want to call it. And it's very interesting how. Uh, the cloths and the armors of the Gold Saints are designed. I'm a pretty big fan of the design of the anime, the character design, the character models. And this game does a pretty good job uh, graphic-wise in showcasing those character, character models because the game uses, as you guys can see here in the background, uh, a somewhat combination of like cell shading elements with 3D models that are, that it's very similar to like, for example, the Tales of games on the PS3. It kind of gives you that anime vibe or look uh, to, to the characters. Uh, however, the environments themselves are very uh, plain and boring looking. Um, there are very low, low res textures, so um, it, it, they're a little bit of an eyesore. You know, the backgrounds, you know, the ground and the walls in the temples. You know, they they're really like low texture, um, low res textures. So uh, graphically, there's a little bit of a contrast. You know, the character models uh, they look great and they look very anime like, whereas the the environments are kind of bland and uh, very uh, poor looking, if you want to call it that. Um, gameplay wise, like I said, it, it's divided into beat em up sections and then you face each gold saint um, as a boss fight. And uh, you have a, an array of different moves that you can do in the game that I really think they did a very good job of translating all the moves and the special moves from the anime into the game. Because you can do just your regular moves by just tapping the, you know, the square button but you can also pull off the special moves by uh, tapping the uh, circle and the R1 button. And uh, you know the, the movements are pertaining to each character. For example, Seiya uses his Pegasus you know, punches, uh, which is a trademark um, of, of, of the anime and the, and the cartoon. And uh, you know, each character has their own moveset. And then you have these very special moves that you can do against you know, boss fights or the gold saints that, you know, require you to deal a certain amount of damage and once you can pull your super move out, you know, you get this, uh, you know, cinematic se sequence, very anime-like where, you know, you unleash this huge power or attack that, you know, it can take up up to half the uh, energy or a quarter of the energy of the boss uh, you're facing. So, another thing you have to keep in mind when, when playing this game is your Cosmo uh, meter, which essentially Every time you use a special move, your com uh, your Cosmo meter uh, goes down by a little bit, but you can replenish it by uh, doing regular attacks using your square button. Uh, another way you can re replenish your Cosmo meter is by dodging at the right time. Um, if you guys have played Bayonetta, for example, think of it as a witch time, in which you have to have this very precise dodging mechanic that if you do it, if you time it right your Cosmo bar will get replenished and on top of that you, you will activate what's called your seventh sense which is basically a slow down um, a motion that allows you to attack at regular speed on a slow a slow down enemy so exactly like the witch, uh, witch time in Bayonetta where you know everything slows down but you can attack at the regular pace and speed so you can also manually activate your seventh uh, sense by using the L2 button and uh, this is very, very useful when facing the Gold Saints, you know, boss fights because it slows everything down and it allows you to find an opening or, or a weak point that you can exploit or use and uh, it's very useful and you're going to find yourself using the L2 uh, button a lot when you face those uh, Gold Saints. Um, the game overall, I thought, I thought it was pretty challenging. Uh, there are certain Gold Saints that are more challenging than, than others. I had, a, I had a lot of problems with the Capricorn and the Cancer fight. Both were a major pain in the ass because these bosses, they have huge health bars. And uh, it, you know, when you attack them, you chip just a little bit of, uh, of energy uh, at one point. And then 
uh, uh, certain bosses, once that bar is fully gone, then you would think that you won the battle, but a lot of these boss fights, they have like a second and third form that you have to fight, so it may take you a while just to, you know, get rid of your the first health bar, just to find out that, you know, then after that they transform, or they get more power, or they, they, they up their Cosmo, and um, you have to keep fighting. But everything goes in line with the anime, so if you guys have watched the anime, and especially the Gold Saga, which is, you know, the Gold Saint Saga, which is the favorite, my favorite part of the show, personally, uh, you'll feel right at home, everything, you know, all the cutscenes that happen in between, you know, the boss fights, they're all, you know, related to the anime, and you guys will feel right at home if you have watched the, the shows previously. Another big advantage, if you guys have watched the show, is that you kind of know the weaknesses or how the Bronze Saints defeated certain Gold Saints. Um, so, if, if you guys are aware of that, you, you will know what kind of special moves or attacks to use um, in order to kill or defeat the, the Gold Saints. So, everything is tied to the anime, and, to the anime obviously, and you know, the reason being why I recommend that you guys watch the anime first. And if the game looks appealing to you, I guess give it a shot, but for those of you that are just looking to enjoy the game, without looking at the at the show, I don't think you'll, you'll find any a whole lot of enjoyment because the, the gameplay will get repetitive really, really quick. Um, the cool thing about this game is also is that it has a lot of replay value. Uh, once you beat the main story mode, there are other sagas or arches that you unlock as far as the history and where, uh, I mean, they're not as long as the main story, but they're like added content almost. So they're like separate stories, but they're shorter. And uh, it's kind of cool because it, it, it reminded me of different episodes in the series, and it helps expand the, the, the story of the of, of the of the series uh, themselves. So once you pick the game, make sure you check out the main menu because, like I said, more stories are open. I think uh, four different single player stories open up after you beat the main campaign, which will probably take you guys around eight to ten hour ten hours, I would say. And then after that, if you beat all other four or five added stories, you know, those will take probably five hours. So you're looking at easily 12 to 15 hours of content in, in, in this game. And to top that, there's also challenges that you can, uh, uh, you can do. Uh, you, you, you keep on unlocking challenges as you progress through the game. So there's a, a ton of replay value. And the cool thing is that you also unlock different characters. For example, uh, all the gold saints that you defeat, at, uh, defeat in the story mode, they get unlocked so you can use them during the regular challenges. And it's really fun because they're very powerful and they have their you know, very strong special moves. So each character has a different move set. Each character has different special attacks. So it gives a lot of, a lot of variety in terms of combat and the gameplay. Um, the progression of the game also, I forgot to mention, it's kind of like a it has RPG elements in the sense that you level up your characters um, after each level or after each challenge you beat, you get experience points and you can use those experience points in uh, categories like attack, defend, cosmo, health and things like that. So it's very important that you, you do a good balance uh, or you, you distribute your, your points accordingly in order to make your, your saint uh, stronger. And uh, like I said, the, the main story was uh, a, little, a little bit challenging. There was a couple of fights where I had to retry, uh, retry a couple of times, and uh, you know I had to use all those, you know, seven cents and special moves very carefully. And uh, but overall, it was uh, it was very it was a very fun game. But then again, keep in mind that I watched this show when I was a kid, and uh, I'm a huge huge fan of the show. Um, audio wise. Um, the soundtrack of, of this is based on the anime, obviously, as well, so you, you'll, hear, you'll hear familiar tunes if you have watched the show previously. And if you guys know what I mean, this Saint Seiya has, in my opinion, one of the best uh, you know, soundtracks or songs out there, so you'll feel right at home. Now, the game only has Japanese voice, uh, voices, uh, so um, now there's no way to have like English uh, voice acting or whatever. Um, in my opinion, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's a little bit annoying because every, everything is subtitled, and it's kind of fun. It, it's kind of fun reading the, the subtitles just to see all the trash talking while you face the boss fights and things like that. But it's very distracting. Uh, this is a game where you have to have your your eyes on the on the opponent in order to do those you know dodges and things like that. So 
you have to be very careful. You have to be very aware of the of the enemy. And um, you know, I found myself not reading the you know the subtitles uh, hardly at all because you have to be very concentrated uh, in the game. So in that in that regard, I kind of wish the the game had uh, English voice. I think that way I can you know lis listen and hear and under understand what they're saying uh, as I'm playing the game. Um, but overall, Saint Seiya Sanctuary Battle, a fantastic game. Highly recommend it if you guys have watched or have seen the show. If you guys have not watched the show previously, I cannot, uh, I wouldn't recommend this game. But instead, I would recommend you guys go out and, and check out the uh, Saint Seiya episodes. For today's uh, standards, it might be a little bit dated because this is an anime that was uh, done in the 80s in Japan. So it may not, uh, it may, uh, you know, the animation and all that might be a little bit primitive if you want to call it that. Uh, but nevertheless, the story and the themes, you know, the great mythology, um, themes around it, you know, the, the fact that they, they, will, they, they wear armors, the different characters that happen during the show, I think it's very fun and very interesting. So, uh, once again, Saint Seiya, Sanctuary Battle, highly recommend it if you guys have watched the show previously. And if not, stop watching this video and go check out the anime because it's fantastic. So, with that being said, Thank you guys for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you later.